Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Figma Shorts, a mini interaction series in Figma. And before we start the video, let's hear it from our sponsors, which is me actually. And if you haven't heard, I have launched my side project called SwiftCV.com. So guys, if you're someone like me who always struggles to get their personal websites up and running, then I think SwiftCV is for you. SwiftCV is basically a hybrid between a professional and a personal website and you can add social links, your work history, projects, portfolios, everything in one single page. And it's very easy to set up. It'll just take 15 minutes of your time to set up everything in one go. On top of it, you also have a lot of other features like analytics, password protected profiles, and many more things. So go just check out SwiftCV.com and I'll also link up a sweet 30% discount in case you want to upgrade to a pro features, but you can obviously get started for free. And I'll link everything in the description below. And yeah, let's get started with our main video. So guys, in the third episode of Figma Shorts, we are going to learn the basics of bottom sheets. So bottom sheets are one of the most commonly and most popular use constructs in both iOS and Android applications. And I think it's also one of the most exploited ones um, when it comes to usage. So today we're going to first learn about the basics and then we'll quickly design one simple bottom sheet first. So according to Google, a bottom sheet should be supporting, should be flexible and should be ergonomic. Uh, by supporting, it means that bottom sheet should contain content that supplements the screen's primary UI. So which means that it should not contain duplicate, redundant or the main information of the same page that's being displayed on. So it should not contain the primary information. It should always contain the information that complements the information that is present on the screen, primary screen actually. So that's what supporting means. Now, uh, flexible means that it can display a wide variety of contents. For example, if you have seen a share intent, a share module uh, on different iOS and Android is quite different than you have seen in the music apps. So music apps has like a smaller bottom sheet which shows the current song playing. So that's what flexible means. It can show wide variety of content. Uh, we'll get to more examples of flexible content in our upcoming videos. So stay tuned. And the third property is ergonomic. So bottom sheets are always accessible mostly from the bottom because uh, bottom of the screen, because bottom of the screen is most ergonomically reachable in any phone, right? Especially on tall phones these days, uh, bottom sheets are most ergonomic uh, constructs that are available right now. And apart from principles, we have a general anatomy of uh, a bottom sheet. So bottom sheet typically contains three elements. Uh, the first one, as you can see here, is called the sheet itself. The second one is the content, basically the get link, share, edit name, all these are the content that are present on the sheet. And the third is called scrim or an overlay. So now uh, scrim, uh, scrim depends on whether the bottom sheet is like a model or not. And we'll get back to more onto this, but third is an optional, scrim is an optional thing, but one and two is the main part of the anatomy of a bottom sheet. So yeah, now we have understood the principle. Now we have understood the anatomy. Uh, let's quickly design one simple bottom sheet. So guys, we are right now in Figma and I have designed a sample uh, tour guide app and it contains a bunch of text, some more information and image and a share option. And Clicking on this share option should open our share uh, bottom sheet and we'll quickly design it first and then we'll pair it up in Figma. So first of all, we need to design, decide what's going to happen when we click on the share icon. So I'm assuming that clicking on this share icon, you can share this particular article with your friends. So uh, yeah, so let's first design that. First, what we want is we need to design, we need to define a height for our mod model sheets or bottom sheets that will open here. So for example, I want something like, so I'll hit command, uh, I'll hit A on my keyboard, which will open the artboard tool. And what I want is I want something like this, this much big of a UI. And what I'll do is I'll keep it out and I'll give it a fill. So I'll give it a black fill and I'll also give it a rounded UI. So make sure that the bottom sheet is also a frame. 
uh, it should not be a group it should be a frame and you can know the property from here and we'll be using a prototyping property called overlay here to mimic the behavior of bottom sheets so yeah this is our frame and i'll quickly add some more elements to it i want to add some photographs i want to give a radius of it like 24 radius and i also want to add a text and some photograph of users whom i want to share this article with so let's quickly design that and come let me come back to you So guys, I have changed the name and the uh, photographs of the users in this email so that it looks more random. And uh, now what we want to do is we want to create a scrolling list out of these elements. So if you see, if I just hit clip content, you will see that this list is overflowing the bottom sheet itself. So what it will do is it will create a scrolling component out of this. So uh, let's quickly hit clip content again and now what we want is we want to select this group that contains all these usernames and change this group property to frame because again frame gives us the opportunity to create a scrolling uh, behavior in prototyping i have explained this in my previous video so do check it out now what we'll do is we'll hit command and we'll resize this group and this frames actually uh, view to something like this so that only this portion is visible and we'll go to the prototyping tab and change the overflowing behavior to vertical scrolling. Now what will happen is if I just quickly show you in the preview mode how it looks like. Don't worry it's sticking on the top but if you see I'm able to scroll these components. Perfect. So now our first part is done. Now what we want to do is we want to link this with this share button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the share button that I've created already and drag a needle to the bottom sheet. Now we want it on tap instead of navigate to you should change it to open overlay and you have to select these two things. So first bottom center, which means that it always open from the bottom and center close outside uh, close when clicking outside so if you click anywhere outside of the bottom sheet will close that's again the behavior that we want add a background overlay behind so this is the scrim part that we have discussed in the anatomy part since it's a modal type of behavior we want a slight background uh, overlay on top of the main ui this is the main ui so that this is more visible so we want that and you can give an overlay opacity to it so i have given it like something like black and 70 percent so there will be an overlay or a scrim that will be 70% overlay and in the animation part we don't want instant we want it to be something like move in and what move in is does it will make sure the animation happens automatically so we want this model sheet to move in from bottom to top so we'll select the upward arrow and it'll show you a behavior here how it will move and ease out is perfectly fine and 300 milliseconds seems perfectly fine to us and yeah this is the overall setting and yeah then let's see how it looks like so this is our main ui and if i click on the share icon awesome so if you see there is a slight dimming of the background because the overlay is working which we have given in the figma setting this is our model sheet and if you see i can scroll inside the model sheet itself which is a more realistic scenario and if i click anywhere on the outside it goes down really nicely it comes up really nicely because of the ease out and goes down the same way right so guys this is how you design a very basic model sheet in figma uh, in a upcoming videos i'll create more different type of model sheets or bottom sheets one is one the other most popular is that extensible model sheet where you uh, have too many content and when you scroll it up it becomes like a full page so I'll explain those and how to create that animation in Figma in my next videos. So stay tuned. And this is it. I hope you like this basic series. Let me know in the comment and I'll be creating more out of it. So take care. Bye-bye. And I'll see you in my next video.